Well, here's an unusual scene in the Perry District, a miniature suspension bridge between two trees. There are mm -hmm. also some small staircases leading up to that tree. Well, what is it for? You can see. Creme T's photojournalist Dave Summers spoke with the homeowner to learn more about this unique hangout. We, we always have people walk by and go, oh, look, there's a bridge. It was kind of a joke, actually, because I was saying the trees aren't close enough to do a hammock, but uh, I'm like, it would be kind of fun to do like a bridge between the two of them here for squirrels, because there's a lot of squirrels that live in the various trees. And one year, my father-in-law just kind of surprised me with a kit that had a bunch of little wood planks in it and chain and had it all cut it up to length and made this kind of suspension bridge. He was a carpenter for 30 years, so he actually completely remodeled our house when they first bought it. Beautiful porch swings, the fence along here was all done with by him. It's more of an art piece because they don't really use it. Um, we've seen them on there one time, they kind of walk on the chains, but I don't think it's challenging enough for them. They just hang out on the power lines or, you know, mainly they're all about the food, you know, the apples and the, the treats we put out. At one point, uh, there was little tiny lights, solar lights that went across it, and they chewed right through that. It took them about a month and they just severed the wires. So they're very curious. Um, and the most we've ever seen was eight squirrels on one tree kind of going nuts when we put out uh, acorns one year. They're very picky. They love apples. Uh, they don't like vegetables. The funny thing is then the little birds will come in and clean up the stuff that they don't eat. And there's a goose and two ducks that live across the street and they'll kind of waddle over and clean up the stuff that the squirrels don't get. And then wild ducks actually come in too and uh, we'll, we'll clean things up. So it's kind of attracting a lot of things and, and it's, it's far enough away from the house they don't, they don't mess with anything. The dogs will just sit in the yard and watch them. This is Pools Public